monogamous. You enjoying the sound effects? Lovely. Now, human males and females do have a strong tendency to live together in monogamous pairs, albeit for highly varied periods of time and with uh, varying degrees of fidelity. So, how did we evolve as a species who mate for life? Well, a new study comes to a startling conclusion. Among primates, monogamy evolved because it protected infants from being killed by rival males. Well, with me is Kit Opie, an anthropologist at University College London and lead author of the study on monogamy. And welcome to you. Thank you very much indeed. Fascinating study to be doing. Um, yeah, really good. Um, I mean, there's a real puzzle here. Um, monogamy is very rare across mammals, um, and yet primates, uh, as you say, do it much more often. Uh, so about a quarter of primate species are monogamous. And this has been a puzzle for decades now. Um, uh, various scientists have put forward different views as to why that might be the case. Um, first of all, people were saying it was because of uh, parental care, uh, that both parents working together could do a, a better job. Others said that it was uh, males uh, guarding a female. Um, and others, um, uh, as you say, were talking about it was males protecting their infants from rival males. So we thought we'd test it. Um, and and how, how, do, I mean, how do you test it? I mean, as an anthropologist, I can understand if it's human research, you go and do an ethnography or whatever it is, and you kind of ask people the questions and they give you answers from which you can draw conclusions. Yep. You can't ask a bunch of chimpanzees or whatever. No, um, and uh, we're really lucky. Um, we're, we're using the same techniques that Nate Silver used to, um, to predict the last presidential election that he did so accurately. And using exactly the same techniques, instead of predicting the future, we can predict the past. Uh, and so we collect data on primates, uh, including humans, uh, on their behavior and their mating systems, uh, and then we use that to uh, get a picture of what the past looked like. How fascinating. And has, has behaviour changed at all? Have, peop have some you know, animals become more or less monogamous as time has gone on? Has, has, uh, has behaviour evolved? Absolutely. So the, the ancestral primate uh, was a, uh, a solitary um, animal um, mating uh, uh, polygynously, um, so males and females all doing it. Uh, it was only much more recently, we've, we think uh, in the last uh, 10 or 15 million years, that different kinds of uh, mating strategies uh, evo evolved, and one of those was monogamy. And in a number of primate species, um, that, that happened. And how do you explain that there are polygamous, I mean, in, in human society, there are some societies where polygamy is practiced openly, whereas in others it is seen that monogamy is the only way to go. And why, why, why did some go one way, others go another? Well, what, what seems to have, have happened during human evolution was that it was very important to protect very slow-growing infants. Um, and therefore, monogamy was the, the best way of doing that. Um, since we have uh, evolved culture um, and uh, now humans can make choices about the way they live, um, yes, there are, there are different ways of doing it. So uh, some men um, uh, have a number of wives um, and in a lot of cultures that's the case. Kit, really fascinating to talk to you. What a fun job you've got. I kind of want to do a job swap with you. That would be brilliant. Interesting research. Thank you very much indeed Thank for uh, sharing it uh, with us. Before we go off two by two, I just want to take you 